uh, very determined to get it out to the masses as soon as possible because we are in times dire times here and we need all the info we can get and all the knowledge we can get so if you like any of these videos please thumbs thumb them up don't forget to thumb up the video if you like it and please share the information that's the most important thing here all right so let's begin with this one this is by Michael Ravensthorpe of Natural News and it's dated August 10 2014 this is a dated article but this contains information about magnesium and I thought it might be of uh, value to some of you out there. The best and worst forms of magnesium to take as a supplement. According to the American Chiropractic Society, an estimated 68 to 80 percent of the U.S. population is deficient in the essential mineral magnesium. Are any of you taking magnesium? It's good for sleep too and relaxation by the way. While a growing dependence on processed foods is partly responsible for this alarming statistic, the real reason for it is that ongoing soil erosion has significantly depleted the mineral content of our soil within the last century. Consequently, many fruits and vegetables that were once rich in magnesium no longer contain it in adequate amounts, resulting in widespread deficiencies. For this reason, an increasing number of people are turning to magnesium supplements to boost their intake of this vital nutrient. However, since magnesium must be bound to another substance before it can be adequately absorbed, magnesium supplements come in a number of different forms that provide different or targeted health benefits. This article takes a closer look at the best and worst forms of magnesium on the market today. And by the way, I read for the visually impaired, for cell phone users, and for the disabled. So if at any time you'd like to uh, not listen to the entire broadcast, please use the link. The best forms of magnesium. Magnesium cit citrate. Magnesium citrate is the most popular magnesium supplement, probably because it is inexpensive and easily absorbed. Since citric acid is a mild laxative, magnesium citrate functions as a constipation aid as well as a magnesium source and it is a great choice for individuals with rectal or colon problems but is unsuitable for those with loose bowel movements. Magnesium taurate. Magnesium taurate is the best choice of magnesium supplement for people with cardiovascular issues since it is known to prevent arrhythmias and guard the heart from damage caused by heart attacks. Magnesium taurate is easily absorbed. Magnesium and taurine stabilize cell membranes together and it contains no laxative properties. Magnesium malate. Magnesium malate is a fantastic choice for people suffering from fatigue since malic acid, a natural fruit acid, present in most cells in the body is a vital component of enzymes that play a key role in ATP synthesis and energy production. Since the ionic bonds of magnesium and malic acid are easily broken, magnesium malate is also highly soluble. Magnesium glycinate. And folks, did you know that there were so many forms of magnesium? There's quite a few of them here. Magnesium glycinate, magnesium bound with glycine, a non-essential amino acid, is one of the most bioavailable and absorbable forms of magnesium, and also the least likely to induce diarrhea. It is the safest option for correcting a long-term deficiency. So they're saying this is the safest option. Magnesium chloride. Though magnesium chloride only contains about 12% elemental magnesium, it has an impressive absorption rate and is the best form of magnesium to take for detoxing the cells and tissues. Moreover, chloride, excuse me, chloride, not to be confused with chlorine, the toxic gas, aids kidney function and can boost a sluggish metabolism. Yeah, folks, I'm having trouble with my voice tonight. Pardon me for that. Magnesium carbonate. 
Magnesium carbonate is another popular bioavailable form of magnesium that actually turns into magnesium chloride when it mixes with the hydrochloric acid in our stomachs. It is a good choice for people suffering from indigestion and acid reflux since it contains antacid properties. And here are the worst forms of magnesium. Magnesium oxide. Magnesium oxide is the most common form of magnesium sold in pharmacies, but it is non-chelated and possesses a poor absorption rate compared to those listed above. Magnesium sulfate. Magnesium sulfate, also called Epsom salt, and how many of you take, take baths with Epsom salts, is a fantastic constipation aid, but an unsafe source of dietary magnesium since overdosing on it is easy. Magnesium glutamate and aspartate. Avoid these two forms of magnesium completely. Glutamic acid and aspartic acid are components of the dangerous artificial sweetener aspartame, and both of them become neurotoxic when unbound to other amino acids. So they're saying, please Avoid these completely. All right. Sources for this article include the following. And you can click on any one of these links for more information as needed. Michael Raventhorpe is an independent writer whose research in interests include nutrition, alternative medicine, and bushcraft. So this gives you a lot of information on the different forms of magnesium. The best and the worst. You decide and thank you for watching and please stay healthy. Pink out.